This is Paul Bowersox at the American Nuclear Society Winter Meeting in San Diego. I'm talking with Dr. Michael Corradini, President of the American Nuclear Society. What are some of the goals and objectives of the topical meeting on Fukushima? Um, this year at the Winter Annual, uh, we will have this embedded topical on severe accidents and I would say lessons learned relative to the Fukushima ac accident. And the real uh, objective of the meeting is to see, we're now 18, 20 months after the accident, to see what has been learned technically about the evolution of the accident, health impacts from it, uh, what is being done for cleanup and decontamination off-site, as well as lessons learned from it. Uh, so it's going to be all four of those objectives for the meeting. And I think it'll be a very good meeting. We've had enormous international response in submitting papers, full papers, I might add, for review and presentation. Well, on the topic of lessons learned, do you have a sense from your review of the research so far, um, some of the lessons learned? I think the lessons learned from the accident really uh, fall into three categories. One is regulatory issues that will be uh, that are being considered now by the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission as well as international bodies and those involve things related to how to deal with station blackout in a more reliable way given extreme natural disasters, estimating what could be a range of extreme natural disasters and how you uh, deal with them uh, in terms of plant protection. The second area would be, so those are just two examples of regulatory issues, the second area would be in terms of what occurred. That is, we know in a general sense what occurred, but we want to learn more about the evolution of the accident because many of us feel there are real margins yeah, of safety in these reactors and we want to essentially learn more about that either by modeling or experimentation or by essentially the deconstruction of the, of the facilities. And the third area is in off-site lessons learned. I think the thing that really affected all of us and we're very aware of is it's not so much that the accident was a health impact to those off-site, but it was an environmental impact in terms of how it affected land and how it affected people's lives. And because of that, I think the lesson learned there is going to be how do we deal with the societal cost of any sort of uh, extreme natural hazard and what uh, havoc it reaches, uh, wreaks in the area of the events. And that one is probably going to play out over years. Much, dif much very difficult uh, topic to deal with. Um, in a broader sense, as president of the American Nuclear Society, uh, what is the path forward in your view for uh, ANS in regard to the Fukushima events of last year? Well, I'll, I'll, what ANS can do to assist, I think, going forward, is I'll just use those three areas as examples. And again, these are my off-the-cuff opinions. These will change and evolve as time marches on. But in terms of regulatory issues, probably where we can be a benefit to the, to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and to other international agencies is providing technical advice. For example, the NRC has asked us and other professional societies to help them in developing of standards, new standards. That's something that we can assist. That's an example. In the area of, of what occurred in the accident and no better, I think the ANS through its, its national meetings and its topical meetings, uh, such as the Nuclear Installation Safety Division will have an upcoming uh, PSA meeting, we will probably look at severe accidents and their effects in terms of what occurred, what is the risk, what is the likelihood, and again our professional meetings will really help inform. In the third area of, of off-site um, consequences or off-site effects, We've already contacted the Health Physics Society and we want to hold a joint session on the linear no threshold hypothesis for radiation effects because that's at the essence at least of some of what people are concerned about for off-site effects. And so we want to work with HPS, the Health Physics Society, to try to develop, try to provide to the community what I think are the most up-to-date scientific studies and analyses. Thank you, Dr. Corradini. We've been talking with Dr. Michael Corradini at the ANS Winter Meeting in San Diego. Thank you.